solve the linear equation 6x minus 25 over 7 is equal to 5. So, given the equation 6x minus 25 divided 7 is equal to 5 and you are asked to solve this, we have to solve this linear equation, right? When you are asked to solve, you have to find the value of x. Here, the variable is x. What is the value of that x? So, now in order to find the value of x, that is, in order to solve this, we have to do one step at a time. And uh, usually what we tell is like start from the one which is far away. Try to cancel the number or the term which is far away from x. So when I read this, we, re we read it as 6x minus 25 divide 7 is equal to 5. So, 7 is the one that we are seeing it in the end on this left hand side. So, you should take care of this 7. So, let us try to cancel that 7. So, how do you cancel the 7 which is in the denominator? That is, it is dividing this expression 6x minus 25. So, in order to cancel that 7 from here, we have to do the opposite operation. That is what is called as inverse operation here and as you can see that 7 is a dividing the expression 6x minus 25. So, what is the opposite operation of uh, this uh, division 7? The inverse operation of a division is multiplication. So, likewise if you have addition, the opposite of addition we could have said subtraction, we should subtract. If there was a subtraction, you must do the opposite, that is addition. Similarly, for multiplication, it is a division. So, in this scenario, you have division first. So, I have to do the multiplication property of equality. In order to solve this problem, find the value of x, I will have to do the inverse operation of this which is multiplication. So, let us multiply. What is this multiplication of equality tells us is by multiplying by the same quantity on both the sides of equality, the value of the expression will not change. And here we are, we are working on this number 7. You want to cancel that 7 from the denominator. So, let us multiply both the sides by this is 7. So, on the left hand side I multiplied by 7. I have to do the same thing on the right hand side. Multiply by 7. Whatever you do to the left hand side, do the same thing to the right hand side. Now, see what happens. This is like 7 times this whole expression divide 7. So, 7 and 7 got cancelled. That is the purpose of using this property. Multiplication property of equality. And uh, let us bring down the numbers and the terms that are remaining. So, you have here 6x minus 25 is equal to 5 times 7. What is 5 times 7? All right. 35. Right? Now, in the next step, I will have to take care of this 25. 25 which is away from this is 6x. So, let us simplify. Remove this uh, 25. And you see it is uh, a negative sign. Inverse operation of a negative is what? It is the addition property of equality. So, let us go ahead and add 25 plus 25 plus 25. So, I added 25 on both sides. On adding this 25 on both sides, what is left now? See, inverse operation of negative 25. We did this 
opposite of negative 25 which is positive 25 just to cancel that like how you cancelled 7 there now you cancelled 25 now bring down 6x this is gone is equal to 35 plus 25 0 carries 1 that is 4 plus 2 6 so 6x is equal to 60 now 6x means it is 6 times x right it is multiplied so opposite property of that multiplication is a division so let's divide both the sides by 6 now and 6 so 6 and 6 got cancelled you are left with only x here x is equal to 60 divided 6 that is 10 right that is your solution the value of x is equal to 10 you can even verify this answer by going back and substituting the value in the given linear equation so i'll show you that is just substitute here let me go down x is equal to how much 10 substitute 6 times 10 minus 25 is divide 7 is equal to 5 so the right hand side is 5 see now 6 times 10 60 minus 25 divide 7 is equal to 5 60 minus 25 you have 35 35 divide 7 is equal to 5 therefore what is 35 divided 7? 5. Right? 5 is equal to 5. That is true. So, you are, this solution is right. So, this is how you can go back and verify your answer. So, let me quickly tell you the steps again. First, take care of the number 7 which is away. Right? Division 7 is cancelled by multiplying with 7. Afterwards, you took care of 25 by adding 25. Lastly, we have cancelled this as 6. See, first 7 which is far away, then 25, then 6. So, just think about it and uh, you can come up with your own idea and you can answer this type of problems very easily. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching.